So, yeah. <laughs> so much for a door slammer four day turnaround bathroom update. I think we'll call this a legitimate remodel. Talked with the homeowner this morning and he's like, I'm not a big, big fan. He says the sprayed on tub stuff cost him a lot of money and that while that works for apartments, he didn't want it for his house. And I said, dude, absolutely, absolutely okay. That's why I was checking. So he says, if we got to pull the tub out, why don't we just put a shower pan back in there instead of a tub? Nobody takes baths anymore. I said, I can't disagree with you on that. So we're going to go with a 30 by 60 or maybe a 32 by 60 since the toilet's all the way over here. I got a whatever, a 30 or a 32 by 60 inch shower pan. We're going to tile from the shower pan all the way to the sheiling. What does that do? That takes it, like I said, from a four or five day turnaround to maybe an eight or nine working day turnaround. But it's going to be done right. This sheetrock was all skunky anyway. You guys remember this whole wall was going to come out regardless because we had all that glue down there. We had the seam and then a 48 inch seam and then we had that funky part here with the cabinet. So this made sense. I cut this one off at the natural factory seam here just because that piece is perfect. And that's like keeping the corner of a house. You know when you do a remodel it's not considered a or and when you do an addition, you know, as long as you keep a corner of the house and it's not truly a rebuilt house. So we're going to keep that. That's fine. I can tie into this nice smooth wall. It'll be just as pretty. We're leaving the ceiling. We're leaving the light there. Everything's going to stay the same. We're not changing any of this. This is going to get replaced. Originally, we were not going to replace the shower valve. But if we're doing a shower pan, you're not standing up in a shower pan under reach down to here. So I'm going to, this is all kind of funk, funk skunky anyway. Now we're going to take it at the coupling. We're going to bring a new, ugh. we're going to bring a new shower valve up to probably about here. Uh, 36, 40 inches or so. I got, actually, I got to figure out what that height is above the pan height. But it'll be like right about here and then we're going to make the shower head. This is chin height for me. So this is, you know, my head's like right here. So we're going to take this up. And this is funny when they did the retrofit, I'll call it, because this is not the original. This was originally a, a diverter in the center and the two taps are on either side. They never secured it. And when they did this 90 threaded sweat fit, it doesn't even have the ears on it to secure it to anything. Um, so I don't know how far open they got this this wall. This used to be an exterior wall to the house, the master bedroom. The addition is now on the other side. You see the new framework here. This used to be a window. That's where they boxed the window in so they could put a bedroom on the other side. They took advantage of having the other side wall open and they insulated it, which is perfect. This was going to get stripped out to about here anyway, all the way to the ceiling, so it just made sense to take it all the way across. This will allow me as well, I'm going to take advantage of having this side open and I'm going to put some R13 on this wall here. Uh, it'll act as a sound barrier if someone's in here in the bathroom. That's the master bedroom on the other side. Uh, excuse me, not the master bedroom. That's this bedroom here on the other side. Uh, but you know, if someone's in here and had a little too much cheese for dinner and is trying to grunt one out, you don't. if you're in that other bedroom, you don't need to hear it. So... We'll throw a little insulation here. Does this electrical look familiar? <laughs> hey, it's the back side of my cabinets. Um, but yeah, that's how we're going to leave it today. I'm going to, to make up a materials list. I'll hit this running tomorrow. Insulate. Put some purple sheetrock, which is the moisture and mold resistant sheetrock. And it'll be a fun one. We're going to tile the floor. We're going to tile the floor to ceiling. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Got to go, got to run. See you.